All right, so I'm gonna start creating the next one and I'm gonna leave this at the bottom so I don't have it up there because I want it to be the last thing. So I'm gonna create a new router and a not get. I'm gonna do a post one here. So I could have copied this one up, but that's probably smarter, but whatever. We'll do everything by hand then. So I'm gonna create a post, which is where I'll be doing a new one, right? So you can, new, it's short, you probably new to do, new whatever. Uh, it's a smart solution, but whatever. And as before, I'm gonna use the async, oops, async, and I'm gonna pass through the reg and res. Oh, I did something outside the app. There we go, res, reg, and fat function arrow thingy. Oh, and remember the last one here. So make sure you, before you continue, this is the structure, parentheses, fat annotation object, and then in the parentheses. In here, as before with the, uh, this one up here, I'm gonna copy this. Um, so I'm gonna copy this, and I'm, instead of calling to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this new to do, right? So this is basically what it is. And instead of an await, I'm deleting this and then enter. I'm going to use the new to do. So we have a model that we can use now um, from our mongoose and I'm gonna use this. So it looks like this. In here, what we should do eventually um, is this. So I'm, I'm gonna type it in and mark it out. Is we're going to use this uh, eventually. So whatever I'm sending from view, I'm gonna mark it out and I'm gonna add a comment over here. So basically what I'm sending, what uh, the a view app is sending through the routes from we'll set up in there will be what we pass along to um, to the database, right? But I haven't set up any view and I haven't created any input fields and so on. So I'm just gonna create an object right now that has some information that will be sent in so we can test it, right? So just click a button and it'll upload something. Uh, so uh, an author, and I'm gonna call him uh, Flanders. Hopefully they won't sue me for using his name. And I'm also going to do a to-do for this one. So that'll be go to Canada and get medication. So this is what I'm gonna pass through. So this is definitely not dynamic data. This is static, this is always, when I create one will always be this one, but we're gonna use this for now as it looks right now. Cool. So after this one, I'm going to create a const, which is gonna co be called saved to do, uh, like this. Oh, that's not equal sign. And here, I'm going to be using the await that I just deleted, so I could have saved that one. Uh, and I'm gonna use the uh, the Mongo, I, I wanna call it for a prototype, I guess, a method. Um, and I'm gonna use the name new to do, and I'm gonna use the one called save. So. This is what they use to put data and save it to the database. So up here we're using find, we can use save, we can use uh, delete, uh, find item, uh, find by ID and so on. So many, many different things. So this will, or oh, this is the Mongo save database method. I'm also going to use the rest.json, so the response. Uh, and in here, what I'm passing along is the thing I just want to, that I just save, right? Save to do. So this is the router for our post, basically. So I'm gonna give a little comment here, uh, create new to do. And again, if you have more, copy this, make sure you either new user or new project or whatever, make sure everything fits with the thing here and this here and this here and so on and so on. But you can use the structure for this for another route and so on and so on. I'm gonna copy this now because I don't wanna type everything from scratch. So the next one is not a create a new to do, it will be a uh, getter by ID. So we're going to do similar things, but instead of post, we're going to go back to the get up here, like I had at the top one here, right? So we have our getter or get, but what I wanna use this for is not just get everything, I wanna use this for when I click an item so I can go into and like delete it or I can update it and so on. So we're going to use similar, similar things like this. We can also use this for dynamic uh, routing and so on. But 
and you where did I get it? yes this one here so this is not new anymore this needs to be get and then slash and if you're familiar with setting up uh, dynamic routing you know what this means so this will be uh, changed depending on the data we receive from the system right uh, so it's similar to react view uh, angle and so on we're still going to use the async uh, in here we are going to i'm just going to rename this to t because well why not uh, it's shorter and oh, i'm actually not going to use all of this so i'm going to delete this and instead of having a save to do i'm just going to use cuts t for to do sure and i'm not going to use the new to do anymore i'm going to use the to do like so but in this case again i don't want to save the information I want it to use to find something specific. So when I type find, you can see there's different Mongo things here. And in this case, I just want, I don't want to delete it or remove it. I just want to find by ID. So locate something for me. Uh, and it is similar to the JavaScript, so find. So the first thing it finds that is equal to this, then it will stop the, uh, to run whatever it's doing. In here, I'm going to use object. I am going to keep it on the same line, why not? Um, and I'm gonna use, set this as an ID, right? So what I want, how I want this to work or how it does work, not how I want it to work, is that we grab information that's being passed through. And the thing I wanna grab is the params, which is the parameters, this is whatever information is being sent along. And the thing I wanna grab hold of is the ID because that's mainly how Mongo uses or creates things. So we'll, you'll see this when you open your MongoDB. If you use Firebase as well, they have a weird named ID with numbers and letters and characters and so on. So this is the one we want to grab and store this here so we can use it uh, for future things to, um, uh, to only retrieve that specific item or delete that or click that item and so on. So we still want to use the rest of JSON, but now we don't want to use save to do because that's from up here. We just want to use the T in this case. And you can rename this to something that makes more sense to you. It's really not an issue. Just make sure you rename it every place. So that is the getter item, a get by ID. I'm also going to, oh, I am going to copy this. And instead of getter, I'm going to do a delete uh, instead. So delete a to do, oops to do by ID. So we don't want to just delete a random one, right? That would be weird and impossible. So I don't want to use a get anymore. I want to use a delete in this case. So having this here, uh, change this from get to delete and I need to do the same here. So the route we want to send in, so whenever we have our system, uh, our view, we can't do this just by punching it into a um, in the browser because issues and it's getting blocked. But once we go through an application which isn't a person, which isn't yeah, well a person or browser, then it will accept it. So slash delete and then the ID. This is basically what we'll be doing in Postman. Well, I show you here. We'll have the, uh, the local host slash delete and an ID, and we can delete something from it. So if it receives this correctly, then we will be able to delete it. If, like before, we're going to use or we're going to store something in a constant and I'm going to call this t delete to do. Whoops, ah, you can see Danish lettering. Here we go. So const t delete equals await and we're going to use the same one here. But instead of this one, so as before, ah, maybe I can have it. Maybe, oh, it will help me. Um, so before we only did a find by ID, but now I want it to do find an ID and delete. So I can basically just add this and keep this part here because we still wanted to use this. And instead of just having the T down here, I'm gonna copy in the uh, T delete. So this is my router for deleting. So I can start copying things out and so on. Cool, the last one I wanna add quickly is my update one. So I'm gonna paste this in. So update a to-do by ID. So instead of having a delete would be weird, we're gonna switch this to put. So this is how um, we can update in Mongo. Uh, it's not called updating there. It's called, it's called put. Here, I just like the word update, so I'm gonna use the, the path. You don't have to type put here, but you could if you want to. But I'm just gonna use update, again, based on ID. I'm gonna use, still use the async. I'm still gonna pass these things here. And I'm still going to use the fat error and through an object here, right? No, not object, a function. And 
I'm going to change the name here to update instead of const. I'm still using uh, async here. And instead of having the uh, find by, I'm going to like, whatever, I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to switch this to update uh, one. So we only want to update one item, right? And in my object here or in my parentheses, I'm going to do this. So we have it starting here, ending here. In here, I'm going to actually copy this one up here uh, because I want to, for now, just click because I don't have any input fields to actually test things on. So let's switch this name to Bard uh, Skating. So this is just so we can see when we click something, it actually updates, right? But I'm going to do one of those so we have it for later. What we are going to use this for is we're going to pass through the ID because we want to update a specific item, not all item. So rec params ID. And after this one, the thing we want to use this one, this part over here basically is uh, we're using, or we want to go into Mongo and update that field, right? And we can use, if you search for the, oops, go away. If you go to uh, uh, the Mongo documentations and there's something called set here. So you can see the set operator replaces the value of a field with a specific value. So we're going to uh, pass in the information eventually uh, from our view application. So it will update based on those things. So it is hashtag, hashtag uh, dollar sign or money sign or whatever it's called. Um, and then the body, rec body, which is what we'll be passing through from our application. But for now, we'll leave this out so we can just test uh, if part. What is that? Uh, so we can just test this like this. And again, here, this is no longer a delete. This is a update. Cool. So this is for now our to do's. Uh, and this is basically the, the part of the backend we need to have for now to set it up. And then we'll eventually go back and change a few things. But now we're ready to start setting up our front end.